going on everybody it's your boy to slap train and welcome back guys forza horizon 2 we are back again today for a very special build now the other day we had the fast and the furious dlc drop Dude, on forza that? horizon 2 it's a big day man everybody wanted this in here i was pretty pumped we got the roadrunner we got the charger we have the challenger we have the four-door charger we got a lot of cars including one of my personal favorites from the game, which was actually a free car as well, too. I'm just trying to get to the damn thing right here, man. It's so far down the damn list right here, man. We are picking up the 1998 Toyota TRD Supra. Now, this thing off the hop, S1900, 675 horsepower today. Now, there is a very special reason why we are picking this up first. Now, we're not going to tell you guys right away but there is something that this car offers that the regular Supra does not offer. And it's pretty damn exciting. Now, yesterday the pack dropped very late. Uh, this pack actually came out at around 10.30 p.m. my time, uh, which was quite damn late. Uh, they did post on Twitter that they were having some issues. Uh, you know, they just could not get everything figured out. And finally came up with something at around 1030. Um, I wasn't really feeling like making a video at that time. I was just kind of, you know, I was tired. Uh, didn't really want to do too much. So I figured I'd save it for the next day. Now I'm just quickly looking here for something of a paint job that I may want to use here. That thing looks badass, man. <sighs> Ray Racing. Look at this thing. Oh my god. Now I know it's, it's very overdone. Now if you look at this thing, I mean... Jeez, man, you know what I mean? Can you add any more stickers to it? But it looks good, though. I personally like the way that this thing looks. We're just trying to... Oh, maybe not. Ah, I don't know, man. Look at the bottom left. Too loud or too bad? I mean, it, it's tough. Because it is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, maybe we can find something else. I'm not really too sure about that paint here. I, I found it, man. Elite Dark Fight has made a absolutely vicious paint job wide body kit r.i.p paul walker on the back of it and the sides personally i love the way that this thing looks we got a kind of a nice little wide body on there keeping it clean though which i do like so we're gonna go ahead and pick this up for thirty four thousand dollars right now and this is probably one of the nicer packs that we have received on forza horizon 2 for quite some time now i know there was a lot of people now, we're a little upset at the fact that we did have to pay, and I did touch base on this in my car vlog, but essentially, though, I mean, we got eight cars for the price of $5. I mean, it's not that bad at all. Um, I mean, essentially, there's seven because one was free, but, all right. I mean, so you can't really complain, man. You really can't. Now, for this car, I'm pretty sure we're going to be keeping in this stock motor. We can do the V8, the V10, or the V12, but we're not going to really need to do much. Um, we're going to leave the twin turbo 2J in here. No need to switch that whatsoever. Um, I think I'm going to go with the front splitter on this thing. Maybe just to, you know, keep the front end in line and hopefully not, you know, going into damn trees or something like that. That would be not too damn good. Now, the cars that came in the pack had for the majority of it race tires on them so we're going to go ahead and try both sets of tires for this evening um we're going to be making sure that we try these actual race tires out first and then the rallies just to kind of get a you know say a better feel than what we already have uh we have 285s on the rear i'm going to bump that up to about 325s on the back and there's a reason for that which i'll tell you guys in a second um we're going to leave the bbs rims on there because personally I like the way that those things look. We're going to go with the rally transmission. We're going to just, you know, make that so it's a little bit of a faster damn gear change. And we're going to just lengthen those gears out to ensure that, uh, you know, we're not kind of topping out at, say, you know, 25 miles an hour, if you will. So that's what we're going to be doing for the gears. Uh, we're going to throw in the full roll cage in here. Weight is not going to be a factor on this car. I'll tell you that right now. Um, in terms of that, uh, we're going to throw in the entire suspension on this car. I really want to make this thing as nice as physically possible. We are going to be putting in the rally springs after we've tuned the car. Now, essentially, uh, Mr. Aero HD put out a video on this. It's been out for a long time, nonetheless, but uh, you can actually increase your steering lock on your car by simply going in, putting in the racing suspension first, tuning your car, and then dropping in 
the rally transmission. Now that's going to allow it to just get a little bit more steering lock that has been tested, that is confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my god, 460 horsepower on these twin turbo racing. Oh, wow. This is going to be a badass car, man. That's what I told you about. Now, someone told me you get about 500 horsepower on twin turbos. I didn't really believe them, but damn, man. 460 horsepower. This very well may be the fastest in terms of horsepower ranges on this game. I don't think that there's anything else that is going to compete with this Supra. I mean, we're almost hitting 1,300 horsepower, man. We're at 1,280 camshafts. Oh, 1371 right now. This is incredible, man. This has got to be one of the highest horsepower cars in this game. We just cleared 1400 horsepower with two more upgrades still to go. 1435. Can we beat 1500? Oh, we're close, man. We're going to go 1451 for the finishing touches on this car. That is absolutely mind-blowing numbers man that is some formula drift shit right there ladies and gentlemen look at this man 1459 torque is 1053 weight is just under 3000 pounds this 2j is going to be screaming ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna see you guys in the game man oh my god here we are ladies and gentlemen online right now with this beautiful trd supra Pretty much not a pack lobby today. We did join in with James Arrow, Mancho Pancho, and Panda Oreos for today. I don't know about Kushaholic or Banga, but if they're in here, man, they can slide. So we are going to be going to the dock section for this evening, throwing down some tandems hopefully with this thing, and let's just put our foot down just to see what this thing's all about right now, man. Here we go. Oh, shit. All right, all right, hold up here. We're going to have to uh, throw on a heavy tune right now. We're still rolling, though. Let's just, let's just hit that damn stop button here. Um, so, right off the bat, I did... What the hell did I... What I push, man? Oh, my... God. I didn't mean hey to there, do that. stranger. No, girl, I'm not a damn stranger. I'm here to... I'm, I'm just trying to slide right now. I'm trying to slide. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to definitely take some air out of these tires. Last thing we need is for these things to be spinning any more than they already are, man. These things are going to be just roasting tires right now. Um, I don't know how much camber I really want to put on this. I'm not going to go too heavy right now. Just going to kind of wait and see how the car reacts to this starting tune on here. Um, we're going to probably stiffen the suspension up a little bit, and I did forget to drop in... The rally suspension so next time we go back in to change our tires out uh, that's when we will see whether or not if the suspension does help us in any sort of way uh, we're just going to go ahead stiffen up the springs just a little bit and that'll also counteract when we throw in the rally suspension for us um, main thing is just i really want to just keep this chassis a little bit stronger you know everything from the dampening the suspension the springs all that i just want to have it a little bit tighter um just a little bit more i'd say less twitchy than a softer suspension we're gonna go ahead and max out our damn differential on this thing and oh my god man i'm a little bit nervous right now 325s on this baby ready to throw down here we go I feel like a damn episode of Speed Hunters, man, when they're on the damn highways. I just can't keep this thing going right now, man. Look at this shit. Oh, put my foot down for two seconds, and that happened, man. This thing is a monster. I have no idea how this is going to go when we actually get into the dock area with everybody. Hopefully, I'm more or less not in people's way. I'd like to be able to actually slide it with them. And not them, you know, just trying to slide around me because this thing is just so uncontrollable. But that's really the key for today's episode is trying to make this Supra a controlled drift car. Whatever we have to do to it, man, this thing will be sliding by the end of this episode right now. Here we go. Oh, shit, I already damn hit the Supra. This is some bullshit. I'm not too sure where these guys are going. I think they're doing... The parking lot section, if I am correct. Oh, shit. Just right into the damn pole. I didn't see it, man. It was on my peripherals. I missed it. Now, first thoughts of this car. 
Uh, we have power wherever I need to put my foot down. It is there. We're going to actually... Okay, nope. We're going to go this way. God, man. This thing is a handful off the bat. I mean, this thing just literally slides all over the place, man. <sighs> Thankfully, I didn't hit that man. I was pretty damn close to it, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, shit. There's Macho Pacho. There we go. Fourth gear is a little bit better. I think... I think I found it, man, already, too. Clutch kick if we need it, and we did. Wow, this thing is literally all damn horsepower. Woo. Don't touch me, Cushy. No, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. But no, honestly, though, um, this was actually... Um, I mean, we got this tune in about two tries. Now, I would like to take this to the other section in the docks just to see, you know, how she runs, um, not with a little bit of a tighter course. This is a very tight section to be running. I can't see a damn thing right now, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. No, no, it's fine, man. It's fine. We got Panda Oreos in front of us. The man himself. Oh, shit. He's not going to be happy about that. My bad, Panda. 1,500 horsepower, man. What do you want me to do? What? All right. Now, man. So this thing is going to make me double think this tune uh, very fast. It really will. We're going to go ahead, just bring up that differential power just a little bit. And I'm also going to uh, take away some of this contact on the back tire. I'm gonna actually go above and beyond with this with about a 4.1 on the rear. I really wanna get these tires from sticking as much as they are. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And hopefully, this will be a little bit better than what we just had. And it does feel a little bit better though, I'm not gonna lie to you, it really does. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to throw the rally tires on here and the rally suspension and see if it's any better than the racing tires. This is going to be a tough car, man. It's not, it's not a damn every day you get 14, what is it, 1467 in horsepower for a damn drift car, man? Jesus. But saying that, though, I would like to see Forza maybe give us the ability to run these high horsepower things, man. I mean, All right, dude. if the Let Super can do need. it, why can't any other car do it? You know what I'm saying? I'd like to see some 1,500 horsepower builds in the near future, man. That's what I would like to see. But here we go. We're going to throw on rally tires, and then we're going to go back. And if this is correct, we're going to see a very slight drop to the suspension. Look at that barely anything you see that front tire just kind of roll just a little bit that is it so this should help us with this tune in particular especially because of the fact that we have so much horsepower we're getting some serious wheel spin when we hit that oversteer it's just going to allow it to bring it back that much more so that is the plans with this here we go look at it, it's just peeling right now man oh, 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 oh. shit all right never mind we're just going to uh, pretend that never happened. We're going to go right back. Here we go. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Now, right off the bat, though, uh, I can feel this thing actually getting a lot more wheel lock and holding a little bit better than what it was doing right there. So let's give this another quick shot here. We're going to just see how she runs on this section right now and then go from there. Oh, my God, dude. All right, I'm feeling like that rear camber is going to have to come back out and just kind of straighten up those back tires. Not bad, though. Turn around. Once you get that line done properly, and that's why I'd like to take it to the other section right now, and that's what we're going to do because I'm not a big fan of that section that we just ran. I'm more of a... A docks jump section, man. This section right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give this a shot. Now, everybody just left the docks. I don't know where everybody just went. Turn 
Oh, look at that damn slide. Now, it is raining, so that does also take into consideration of everything that we're doing right now, but that is okay, though. I'm very surprised that fifth gear even gained traction. I tried to just kind of give it a little bit of gas, and fifth gear held, not bad. So overall, this thing is probably one of the hardest cars that I've had to tune for quite some time. But, at the same time, one of the most, I'd say, probably the funnest cars that I've actually got to drive on this game. Strictly because, so we're driving almost 1500 horsepower to the damn wheel. Well, not almost to the wheels, but damn, man. I mean, this is a beast. It is an absolute definition of a monster. You guys saying, you know, I got a monster this, monster that. Until you have almost 1,500 horses underneath the hood of your damn car, this is the monster right here. Not your car, man. This car. It is absolutely beautiful to slide. Let me know your thoughts of the TRD Supra. Personally, this thing's badass, man. I cannot wait to test out some of the other cars in the pack. And if there's a car in particular that you guys would like me to test out, leave it in the comment section down below. You guys can be sure to see Dom's Charger, the Roadrunner, as well as the Challenger all get drifting builds for that car. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the industrial area for one final damn tandem session right here. We went over. It's a lot of people sliding, and this Supra is getting... Oh, man, this thing is a tough car to be a follow car with, man. 1,500 horsepower. Rally tires, for one, is not the greatest. Personally, I'm not feeling the rally tires. I'm really not. Um, you know, I just feel like they just offer way too much slide for the amount of horsepower that we are running. Um, I mean, almost 1,500 horsepower is no joke. And these rally tires, just they slide just a little bit too much for my liking. That's just my personal thoughts on the rally tires i'd like to know your thoughts in the bottom but i don't know man it's a crazy car man it really is and personally probably one of the most challenging builds that i've ever had to do in quite some time it really is uh, there's a lot of factors on this that come into play you know tires horsepower uh, and you really got to get them all to hook up otherwise you're just going to be spinning around looking like a damn fool out here but overall, though, I mean, it's a great car, um, especially if, you know, you're trying you to up. just have a blast with. And that's really what this thing is, man. It's just an overpowered Supra where you really, you don't need this much horsepower, but it's a matter of what you want, man. You want this much horsepower. You know what I'm saying? Any car guy out there will say, yeah, man, I'll take that 1500 horsepower Supra. No problem right now, man. No problem. Look at that. Those are those rally tires kicking in. Um, not a big fan of those, to be honest. I'm gonna probably be definitely switching these back to my race tires on here, just because of the fact that they just don't offer enough grip for the amount of horsepower that we are running. So definitely will be switching over to those race tires for sure. Just not happy with the performance of uh, you know how badly we are actually sliding. I'm gonna go ahead really quickly and just bring down this tire pressure even more. About an 18, I feel, should be okay. We're all waiting. We're all going. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna just, uh... Oh, we're just gonna take that grass line, though. Come on, baby. Beautiful. Maybe these rally tires aren't that bad once done right. But, I mean, like I said, I will probably be doing the race tires regardless. Um, it's just something that I personally prefer rather than rally tires. So, that's my own personal thoughts. Race or rally tires, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what is on your TRD Super in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode today. And if you did, do not forget, guys, slap that damn like button. Show your support in the comment sections down below. And if you guys have not already, please become a member of Team Slap today. Subscribe. Start spinning some rubber with us. That was an absolutely shitty-ass line right there. And you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which can be found in the description box down below. Ladies and gentlemen, jump on a slab trade. I'm out. Peace.
Bridge, what a slab dream, and welcome back, guys. Oh.